Okay, very quickly. Number one, how would you describe their relationship? They're in love, but part of their love is because they can't entirely trust each other. And so trust is the thing that they're always looking for. It's the thing that keeps them together. It's the thing that keeps their desire burning. Desire is something we cannot ever get. We can only ever uh, seek it. We can only ever chase after it. And for them, that thing is trust. Uh, number two, group five agrees. We can't trust anybody. Uh, one day you wake up and realize your parents are also human. They might also make mistakes. You can't trust them 100% either. But you can't live your life without trusting anybody. So most of us pretend like we can trust people. Only these two crazy idiots never trust anybody. Question three, the time jumps uh, help to cover over plot holes, that things that might not make sense. It helps to withhold information to keep us interested. And it also helps to um, add information when you need more information to make something make sense. It looks like it's two stories, one in the present, one in the past, but the information from the past is crucial to understanding the story in the present. So it's actually one story. Question four, split screen transitions. Usually uh, when you transition, it's very static and predictable. By using a split screen and giving us everything at once, it gives us a sense of action. It gives us a sense of excitement. It puts us in the shoes of the characters as they jump from place to place as part of their mission. But at the end of the film, there are two scene transitions that don't do this. They are traditional transitions. Uh, and that is because the plan has already finished. They have already done what they said they would, and they're now waiting to see if they can get the money. And then, of course, they don't get the money. It's not part of the plan. They are not in play. Things are not moving. It's a sudden traditional scene transition. Number five, crowd scenes. This film doesn't do it very well, but usually in order to help us notice what we're supposed to notice, a film will have the characters dress in bright colors, will have them make movements that the other characters are not making, will use lighting, will use sound, um, and um, maybe even use like body direction or other things to make sure that we notice what we're supposed to notice in a scene full of people. Uh, but in some of the crowd scenes in this movie were not very good because a lot of the time we didn't notice what we're supposed to notice. And number six, the ending does not make sense because it depends on information that it did not give us beforehand. There were no clues, there were no hints, it just came out all of a sudden. That's called a deus ex machina, ji xie sun. It's like a god from the sky, nothing that we could have predicted. At the same time, the entire movie is based on the logic of withholding information. The story is told by giving us a little bit of information at a time. The two characters' relationships are built on always trying to get more information about each other. Their jobs are about keeping things secret and then finding out those secrets. So this kind of ending makes sense for the movie. Just like the characters are surprised by the extra information, we are also surprised. So that really unfair feeling that we feel is exactly what the characters are also feeling. Okay, uh, and that was based on discussions with you guys. So. Uh, um, if you want to recommend a film for us to watch, please tell me before week 15. I'll see if I can make that work and make sure to keep working on your final project. See you next week.